So, good evening, good evening, everybody. We're back again. Apologies, it's a little bit late. Uh, I've been extremely busy, uh, but I am back again. And um, before I get into talking about three or four players that I want to speak about, make sure you stick a thumbs up on the video. Uh, that would be really appreciated. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, plenty of you have done that, and uh, we're on 44.6K. Uh, so, 400 until we hit 45k, which has just gone whoosh in the last three and a half, four weeks. So thank you very much. Uh, road to 100k is looking real good. Hopefully we can get that wrapped up ASAP like Rocky, baby. And uh, don't forget, follow my Insta, League Gunner 82. Uh, if 45k following on here, where are you on Insta? Uh, make sure you check that out, League Gunner 82. Um, let's go into the first player I want to speak about. Uh, Odson Edouard, that pitch is not great, so we'll do away with that. <laughs> That's teach me not to check him, isn't it? Odson Edouard, um, apparently being lined up in a shock move, would not be a shock, is it? Um, Arsenal, all due respect to Celtic, who are a massive football club, Arsenal are bigger than Celtic, it's hardly a shock move. Uh, now, they didn't qualify for Champions League, they got embarrassed by a team no one's ever heard of. Uh, since then, he's had a mystery uh, injury, and uh, apparently... They're looking to offload him. Now, Arsenal have got uh, interest, apparently, in lack of threat. Um, Atletico Madrid keen on getting his services. Juventus still in the run for him. The fact and reality is he ain't going nowhere. And if he does, I'll be extremely shocked, which means we won't then go and buy Edouard. I think this story has gone on for too long. If, um, if this was going to happen, it's not a mega money deal, is it, Edson Odewad? Odson Edouard, even. Uh, it's not a mega money move. It's going to cost around 28, 29 million pounds. It's hardly going to break the bank. Although saying that, although saying that, we have only spent 22 million pounds net after we've got rid of Sam Greenwood. So I don't know. We are in a global pandemic. Oh, times are hard at Arsenal. Um, maybe check down the back of the sofas in the uh, executive lounges and see if there's a couple of quid floating around because we're in dire straits, apparently. And, uh, yeah, it's not looking great. It's really not looking great. Let's move on to this guy. Uh, a lot of reports in the rounds today about him going to Napoli on a two-year deal worth three million quid. Um, apparently, we terminated his contract. Um, I've been trying to trying to find out a reliable source on this because I've seen some saying that we're getting three million, others saying that we're getting nothing, um, but we're obviously saving the hundred grand a week that he's on apparently which means we're saving about 4 million quid from now to the end of his contract. And then others saying uh, they've given us compensation. It's all a little bit up in the air. Fact and reality is he ain't good enough. He is leaving. It's just a matter of time. Uh, let's move on. Let's move on. Who should we move on to now? Uh, let's move on to this guy. We spoke about him earlier. This is kind of funny. Um, I don't know whether people watch my streams and then just make stories up in the press. I don't know. If you do, hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, hi. You can make out he's up for sale again now. <laughs> um, because apparently he's now not up for sale and we're giving him a new contract. Oh, dear, oh, dear. You just got to laugh at the silly season. Um, if I had a pound uh, for every single story of a play or every single player that's been linked with a move to Arsenal and the move away from Arsenal, since I started doing these back in April, by the way, yeah, I reckon I'd probably be a multi-millionaire by now. Uh, yeah, popular, contrary to popular belief, I'm not actually a multi-millionaire. Um, all them donations don't amass to a million pound, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, we're profiting off of everything. Uh, we're profiting off of transfer rumours. We're profiting off of Emmy Martin is staying, going, in, out, shaking all about. Uh, but the latest reports are that we are haggling over a new deal for him, but he wants a, an extended wage. We're nowhere near that at the moment. And Aston Villa chipping away in the background, offering him first-team football since Pepe Reina's gone. So watch this space. We are linked with Ariola from PSG on loan. So I don't know. One thing I will say is we're, um, what, 80, 84 hours away from kickoff at Craven Cottage. We ain't done nothing. Literally, we've done absolutely nada. Uh, apart from uh, sign a player that was here last season, uh, Ceballos, um, who's had two good months in a year. Um, albeit, they were very good months. Um, we've signed William, um, who Chelsea didn't want to give a three-year deal to. 
Edu, oh, jobs for the boys. Come round, son. Yeah, get yourself up North London, bruv. Get yourself up here. We'll give you three. We'll give you three years, mate. Don't worry about that. Jobs for the Brazilians, bruv. See you later. Yeah, and then we signed a, a rising centre back star. That's our transfer business. It's getting worrying, if I'm honest. And um, I posted a couple of questions tonight. I want you guys to answer the same. If um, Arteta doesn't get fourth or Champions League, shall we say, would you sack him? Real talk. Because I put it out on Twitter, and we know that toxic platform's just full of wankers. <laughs> Let's be real. I put that out on Twitter, and uh, a lot of people say, no, it's Stan's fault. Okay, so where's the weak head to you movement then? Has everyone just disappeared? Um, and then when you ask that question, you're toxic. But real talk, if he doesn't get top four or Champions League football next season, would you sack him? Because he's got a better squad than Unai Emery had in his first season. And uh, Emery spent about 60 million, of which 25 in Lucas Torreira was already here before he, uh, before he got here. So he spent about, what, 35 million on players that apparently he wanted. Uh, and was told to get top four, and that was the target. So it'd be interesting to see what you guys think on that one. Uh, let's move on to, where is he? Come on, Zoolander, reveal yourself. There he is. <laughs> Do a leaper, back again, baby. Um, but David Ornstein, Fraudstein, Pornstein, whatever you want to call him, um, who's lost most of his connections to Arsenal Football Club since Wenger and all that lot were sacked, um, is claiming today that we have offered this guy to PSG. They've bid it weren't enough. They're still negotiating. And he is going to make all income to fund the Thomas Party deal, which I find staggering. I see Bobby Watkins go to Aston Villa for 28 million after they spent 140 last summer, because they're all thereabouts we spent. How can they go and fund 28 million pounds a player? And we're poncing around trying to get rid of players um, so then fund others. Are we like conference level? I don't really understand it, if I'm honest. Uh, but that is apparently the latest story on him. And um, listen, I can't wait to see the back of him. I can't wait to see the back of half of these players. Will I hold my breath that it happened this summer? No, they're all still here. Um, they're all going to be like new signings this summer. No matter what you do, you have to trust the failing process. Um, and and blindly back it like sheep because uh, if you don't you're a Tottenham fan apparently there we go let me know your thoughts on Hector Bellerin do you actually rate Hector does anybody rate Hector whether you support Arsenal or not leave it in the comments section do you rate Bellerin and I want to know whether you think he'll still be here at the end of the transfer window let me know your thoughts on Hudson Edouard uh, Lacazette and um, Emmy Martinez leave it all in the comments section down below I will be back at lunchtime tomorrow uh, hopefully, we would have announced the Bamiyang's new deal by then. Uh, if not, we'll be down to the last, oh, what, 70 odd hours uh, before kickoff. Still with our top striker, no, nowhere near and none the wiser uh, to whether he signed the deal or not. Going well, in it, this process. Trust the process. And on that bombshell, I would say be excited. Good evening. Laters, peeps.